Hello everyone. With the solo model, we rationalize the idea that sometimes poor countries can catch up with rich ones by benefiting from the fact that they have a higher marginal product of capital. And as such, they become more capital rich, they enjoy faster, albeit decreasingly so, growth rates of GDP per capita along their convergence path. However, it is not the case that in the real world, GDP's per capita growth rate converges to zero as countries that were poorer finish their convergence path to the level of GDP per capita of the richest ones. The analysis was limited in the sense that it focused only on transitional growth. Even economies that would be considered in our analysis to be in a steady state do seem to grow at some relatively stable positive rate, as we can see in the figure. So, how can we extend the solo model to account for this fact and what would it change? We saw before that it was technology that was the long-run driver of improvements in living standards and consumption possibilities. We are able to go to New York in seven hours from Lisbon, as opposed to maybe two weeks, more than 100 years ago, not because of instead of having one steamboat, we now have 10 steamboats, but because we have steamboats that fly and we call them airplanes. So remember that indeed, ultimately, it is technology the force behind continuous improvements to productivity and living standards. Therefore, we will allow that the technology will now grow at a constant rate. We will assume to be G. If we look at our growth equation from before, where we can decompose the growth rate of GDP into the growth rates of technology, capital and labor, we now get that the growth rate of GDP is a linear combination of the growth rates of technology, capital and labor. Remember also that the growth rate of a variable is equal to the growth rate of the variable in per capita terms plus the growth rate of population. Making use of this relationship, we can express the equation before in per capita terms, leading to the following expression that shows that growth in GDP per capita is equal to the growth rate of technology plus alpha times the growth rate of capital per capita. It is now clear that an economy, while far from the steady state, benefits from two sources of growth, technology, which is independent of the level of income per capita, and transitional growth, which will, according to the solo growth model, depend on the level of capital per capita. Making use of the solo equation to substitute in for the growth rate of capital per capita, we get our equation for GDP per capita growth rate which shows that the negative effect of an increase in capital per capita in terms of marginal product is now exactly offset by an increase in technology and the average product is constant in the steady state. In other words, the savings rate times the technology level and the average product is equal to the savings rate times depreciation plus the population growth rate. Since the average product is constant in the steady state, we get that the growth rate of GDP and capital per capita must be the same. Making use of this result, we get that the growth rate of GDP per capita in steady state is equal to the growth rate of technology divided by 1 minus alpha. So, what are the consequences of extending the solo model in this way? Well, now, convergence trajectories are not towards some no growth level of capital per worker but rather, as we can see in this figure, to a steady state growth path where technology is the only factor leading to increases in capital and GDP per capita. This is much more empirically reasonable, especially if we go back and recall the convergence paths we observed for countries like Korea and Japan. The solo model dynamics now show that two countries converging to the same steady state will exhibit the below growth trajectories with a poorer one growing faster and eventually catching up with both the frontier and the richer country. Remember though, that just as before, convergence is only assured if both countries have the same steady state path to which they are converging to. So the result that the solo model predicts conditional rather than absolute convergence still holds.